everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest with me, Rock Paper Mario. In the last part, we finished the last mansion, and in this part, we're gonna see what else we've got to do. Oh no, not this part! I hate these things. You have to, like. Oh my god. Whoa! I hate every single one of these jumps. You have to, like, jump when they're, like, just after hitting the top so that you get, like, a little boost. But then they throw this trick one at you. That you that you want to that if you jump like when you hit the top you like fall into the water so ah ah seriously jeez it sounds like I'm in a hot shower or something okay we've got it yes yes finally that's like the most scary part in the whole game there's another part like we have to come back later again so oh not these no no the birds the birds these guys they have the same stupid pattern as those birds in. As those birds that I spent like the whole of that third video in my Let's Attempt Castlevania, um, just like shouting about Medusa heads. Simple in this game, they have the same um, pattern as um, the eyeballs in that they just like lock onto your position on the Y axis and come straight at you. They're simple. Ooh, that, I'm not passing that off. Jeez, don't pass up the hearts. Whatever you do. Though I'm probably going to die by falling into the water. This is who you want to come. Oh, like Medu Medusa, I'm getting rid of you right now. We have a salesman here, one of these guys with the mouths on their chests and the one eye. And we want to talk to him, and he'll say, I'll give you a diamond! And we now have the diamond, which is one of the. which is the last weapon we'll get in the game. We'll get whip upgrades, but this is the weirdest weapon. I've never used it because it just has the most unpredictable attack pattern. Basically, it'll bounce off the. It'll bounce off the walls or whatever, but it doesn't even seem to be that strong because... I don't know, for something with that unpredictable an attack pattern, the whip just seems a much better... The whip or the golden dagger just seems to be a much um, better... Deal. The golden dagger just kills everything in this game, seriously. Okay, come on. Have at me! There we go. Oh no! Yeah, today, Dirk, this is the same day, and this is just being recorded right after the last video, so... Jeez, this is a good grinding spot at night time anyway, because they're giving me, like, twice as many hearts, not those stupid birds. Okay, you're getting golden dagger, mister. They take two hits! Well, it is night time, I suppose. I suppose it is a horrible night to have a curse! Actually, he was gonna hit me, seriously. It is one of those funny, weird little things that we have to do come... Oh, no, not... First, we have to do this again. I'm probably going to die! I'm after getting- I was so bad at this the first time I did this, it is so hard the first time. But you kind of get- you get into it, and then it's not that bad. That's the trick one, that you actually don't want to go that far. It's about, like, jumping when you're at the top. No! What the fuck? The morning sun has vanquished the horrible night! Right in the middle of my jump, right in the middle of like the hardest jump in the entire game, you decide to vanquish the horrible knight? Seriously, no! Ugh! Well, this is the game over screen. I was hoping that I could have this like be a non game over LP, and now we have to do this again! Oh my god. I knew as soon as I made that stupid jump that it was wrong. At least it's morning time now. Seriously? You just had to vanquish the horrible knight in the middle of my jump! No! Okay, Jesus Christ, I d No! I nearly just walked off the edge that time. See, if you get like... It has to be moving up for you to get like the spring thing. And it's like springs you up! Jesus Christ. It, like, springs you up a bit. There we go. Now, was that so fucking hard? I can't believe I died twice on that stupid thing. Seriously, but if you can do that, you can do anything, because that's the hardest part of the game. You might be wondering, that was a brick wall on the other side there, and we've no, we've seen everywhere else in the game. Where are we supposed to go now? Well, there's actually a funny little trick. These guys only take one hit now that it's daytime. If you unequip Dracula's heart... So if you equip, let's say, the blue crystal, I think it's if you unequip his heart, and you come back to this guy on the boat, the ferryman, because we're not going to pay the ferryman and talk to him, he says, Sure, I'll take you to a good place. Ha! 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 Then he'll take you, well, I hope he takes us to a good place. You're not knocking me off again. Seriously? 
he takes you. Do we have to get off here? I can never remember what we have to do! He'll take us. No, get in the middle, get in the middle! Okay. Come on, okay, where are we now? No, this is the same place again, isn't it? Or is this the town? I, I always forget what we have to do. No, here we go, this is the next place. Now, as far as I know, we can trade... As far as I remember, we can trade our crystal here. There's a guy who's like, I'll, there he is, there's the crystal guy. Crystal maze, I cracked the crystal maze. I'd like to exchange a blue crystal for a red one. And this, I think this is the last... Yeah, we've had the white one and the blue one, and this is the red one. Um, And the red one, all it does is it does one of those other things where... um. All it does is it does one of those things, like, remember when we made the water drain? It, like, well, you'll see. No, it's just the Laurel Man. Because there, there's, there'll be a Laurel Man in each of these, um, um, places now. Because, like, basically we can't, I don't think. Well, I've never gone back to the East Transylvania or whatever. I don't know what this place is supposed to be, because that guy just brought us somewhere random. Buy some of my laurels? No. I have three laurels, and the Mac- no, I have two. Well, how much money do I have? Eight. I couldn't buy them if I wanted to. I might have to cut out some grinding here. This is like, I don't know the second half of this game as well as I know the first half, guys, because it's always kind of like... But it is a bit more... well, I'm not going to say nothing in this game is straightforward, but... Let's just explore this town. I don't even know what this town is called, so... Well, let's talk to you. You're like one of the ladies in um, Zelda 2. Get a silk bag from the graveyard. Duck to live longer. No, that's not true. Oh wait, there is a guy we can buy a silk bag from, isn't there? Isn't I can't remember. I've been waiting for a good looking guy like you. Yeah, they are like those guys in Zelda 2, jeez. <laughs> oh, they look the same. Are you gonna come in and heal me up, baby? I'm getting tired. How long has this video been going on for? Like six minutes? I can't, let's just finish exploring this town and then we'll see what we've got to do. I have a feeling you can buy the next whip in this town, but I'm not sure. Yeah, you must be able to because, like, then you upgraded the. Yeah, there are two more whip upgrades, so you definitely be, you're definitely able to buy the next whip in this town. And I remember because you can like that spot right outside town at night time. That's a brilliant grinding spot. So. I'll show you that when I'm. Um, I'll show you that like before this vid before the end of this video. I'll show you why that's such a good grinding spot and how to do it. Um, because I remember grinding here for a long time the last time because I probably died and lost all my hearts just like I did this time and had to save up a load of money. Now, is this garlic man? Hey garlic man, will you buy some garlic? No, I don't want your fucking garlic. Who do I look like, Wario? If it turns night time, I'm just going showing you the grinding and then I'm ending the video. Because I'm getting angry and I don't like being cranky in my videos. Like, crankiness, like Tyrell says that like, well Tyrell, Tyrell says that it's like, um... That like, he finds me funny when I'm cranky. But like, that's what, like, I know what, how that can be, like, the case. Because it's, some, maybe crankiness is funny in small doses. Sorry, pal. No time now. Maybe later I'll suck your cock. What about you, lady? I'll see you at midnight. Uh, oh! I'll meet you at midnight. Dur, 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 dur. I'll meet you at midnight. Jesus Christ, that song. That's a song by Smokey. And, um... Um, it's like... When I was helping my aunt and uncle move in... I might have told this story another time. But when I was helping my aunt and uncle move into their new um, apartment... Um, the only, all their music was, like, packed away because they were moving, obviously. Um, so, oh, you're not serious? Well, I suppose this would be a good chance to show you, like, what the towns are like at night time. This will be like a showing off and dying video. <laughs> Basically, in the towns at mid, at mid, no, not at midnight, there are these zombies here. And you can actually grind for good hearts off these guys, but I actually prefer the grinding spot that's outside the town city walls here. Um, just because it's more, it's, it's... You can get hearts more quickly, especially at night time. If you walk out here, you see these two Banga guys, and you kill them, and you get hearts. And then you go back, and you walk back out, and you kill the Banga guys, and you get hearts. Okay? 
that's what you do to get hearts. But um, as I was saying, I'll just finish telling this story before I lose my train of thought. One all that we had because their CDs were packed away was we had Kate Bush's first album, The, Kate, the Kick Inside, because that was in the stereo um, when it got packed away into a box. And we had a Smokey cassette that my grandfather had given them because he got a CD of Smokey, so he was just getting rid of the cassette, so he didn't have to throw it away. Um, so all we had was them, so for like three days, all we listened to was The Kick Inside, which I was delighted because, because like, you know I'm a Kate Bush fan, so... Um, and Smokey. And that song, Smokey's songs are so funny. One of them is like, I'll meet you at midnight, and it's, it's, their music is just so cheesy, it's hilarious. And it's like, I'll meet you at midnight, and then there's this cheesy guitar thing that goes like, do 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 do, it's just like, so funny. And their fa my favorite song, it's just so funny that they do, it's called Looking Daggers or something, isn't it? And it goes, do you like looking daggers at me? Does it hurt? Or does it come naturally? It's just so stupid. See, we already have 50 hearts. I can't remember how much the Morning Star is, that's the next whip upgrade, so, but I'll show you at the start of the next video, because I'll have gotten up, like, to a lot of hearts. Because I'll, I'll come back to the video when it's morning time or whatever. Um, but yeah, so that's all we had to listen to, so, well, I guess that's enough for this video, this fiasco of video where I die and it becomes nighttime and morning time at inopportune moments, but then that's to be expected of Castlevania 2 Science Quest, and it wouldn't be the game it is if it weren't for that, so, um, I guess I'll see you next time and let's play Castlevania 2 Science Quest with me, Rock Paper Mario.